A quick glance won't help you distinguish between the beginners and the advanced skiers, or the ones with the missing legs. But there they were, doing the very last thing on their minds that moment in their past when everything changed for them. Back then they just wanted to live. This thing on the mountain is living for sure. I mean, I was in a bad place and um, came up here and it like literally like saved my life. Way before these veterans considered a life-affirming ski trip, an NFL vet had to consider whether he wanted to live at all. That would be David Vibora, Mr. Irrelevant 2008. Mr. Irrelevant, the final pick of the 2008 NFL Draft. The Sabres Rams pick David Vibora. He'll make a team. I mean, I would be surprised if he didn't make this football team. I got the dream playing the NFL. Came and started a rookie year, had a good, respectable NFL career, but ultimately I blew out my shoulder with the Seahawks, and that was, that freaked me out. I didn't have an identity outside of football. I let fear dictate my next step, and that was to just numb myself, not ask for help. I was scared, and I didn't know the person I was staring back at the mirror. He got help and started to like what he was seeing in his reflection again. Vibora opened a gym to challenge pro athletes, but soon he was presented with a more meaningful challenge of his own. Then I met Travis Mills. Quadruple amputee, one of five living. It's post 9-11, got blown up, lost all, all four limbs. I challenged him to work out with me. He kind of looked at me like I was crazy. But he came in the first day, a bunch of our NFL guys were working out. And I think that energy is something that he, they fed into and he didn't just let embarrassment or fear dictate the fact that he didn't have arms and legs. The gym now caters mainly to those with missing limbs and the training is not passive. David met another guy, Roy Tuscany big-time skier who broke his back one day but didn't quit on himself for the sport. Roy proposed the following to David. What if we take veterans, some of whom have never seen snow, all of whom are missing a leg or two, stick them on skis and point them down the mountain? Obviously, the answer was yes. You know, I'm not only the president, but I'm also a client. And so I get to go out and help the adaptive community while I help to try to also progress the adaptive community through my own participation. Three years ago, one veteran tried it. This time, 22 vets hit the mountain. A shared experience with unique and profound individual rewards. There's nothing more significant in my entire life, my entire career, than what I'm doing now. Whatever I want to do, I can do it. You know, there's that freeing sensation of, look, you know, even though I'm missing a leg, when I put these gear on, nobody knows that it's missing, and I'm just a normal guy. Emotionally, it's freed me, basically. like. It, I know I can do anything I want to, and I'm going to do anything I want to. You still have a smile on your face because you're getting to do something that you were told you'd never do again. You know, trips like this, my favorite thing is that they give us a fight. It draws out a lot of our pain and frustration and reignites a fire inside of us. Once you get, like, knocked down the way we've been knocked down, it's really hard to think, hey, I can be good at something again. And now, like, if somebody tells you you can't or you physically, like, you're unable to do something, it's like, no, watch me. Remember that part about David Vibora being Mr. Irrelevant? These veterans would take exception to that. They've all found new relevance together, in a gym or on a mountain, anywhere a new challenge is presented. <laughs>